EDC. Everyday carry. What's in my pockets? <laughs> what is in my EDC 2022? Well, that depends what day it is because it changes regularly. I'm ill. So apologies if my voice sounds a bit croaky. It makes me sound like a man. Apart from when it crackles like that, I sound like a little boy. Anyway, it's April and I think it's about time for a 2022 EDC update. Gonna keep this as short and sweet as possible because I don't need to bore you with loads of details about every single thing that I'm carrying. Basically, I'm gonna tell you what it is, where it belongs on my person, a couple of specs about it, and why I like slash need it. Let's start with the watch. If you know me, you know I love watches and it changes regularly, like pretty much every day as to what watch I'm wearing. But the one I'm wearing today is from a brand that I didn't even know existed until late last year. And I believe it's a sub brand of Seiko or Seiko at least own it, so it's solid. Uh, it's a Giorgio Fenden 1919. And as you could see from the B-roll a second ago, it looks class. Like, it's such a sick watch. I don't know too much about the specs or anything. It was gifted to me from a friend, and I love it, basically. I think it's like a 44 mil case, and it just looks cool. Little lock-in thing here for the crown. So you can't move it around. Automatic movement, glide right round the face, and it keeps time very well. So that's what I've got today. Normally I'm not one for a leather strap, but this leather strap on this watch is actually really comfy, so I don't mind it. Although, I do want to change it. So I'm just trying to find something that fits and will fit with the look of the watch. I just think it looks sick because it's carbon fibre. Look at that. Really, really nice watch. Onto the pockets. So in my front right pocket, that's where the knives live. So again, like watches, my knife carry changes daily, but I'm on a rotation of about four at the moment. But the one that I carry the most is this, the Protec Malibu. And I'm in love with this knife. It was one of my grail knives and if you live in the UK, you know they're a pain in the ass to get in the UK because there's no UK distributors and you have to get it imported from the US and it costs twice the price that the knife actually costs to try and get it here and it's just not worth it. But luckily, I bought this off a good friend of mine, Harry. If you don't know Harry, you need to go and look at his Instagram because it's like another world of good. But he sold me this knife for a very good price and I love it. It just looks so dope. But... Yeah, so it's absolutely solid. It's got a CPM 20 CV steel, which is classed as like a super steel, I think. And aluminium scales, opens and closes, just like a dream. Like It's the most fidgety knife ever, and it sounds good. Oh yeah. Super sharp, and super solid, and I love it. That's like my most carried knife at the moment. And then I've got like my bug out and stuff that I use just because it's a beater and it's sick. And then, it's not actually in my pocket right now, but, again, this hasn't changed from last year. Swiss Army knife, because everyone needs a multi-tool. Tweezers, toothpick, screwdriver, bottle opener, knife, everything you need on a Swiss Army knife. Such a small package, fits in your pocket, you don't know it's there, blah, blah, blah. You need one. Although I do want to get a smaller one, because this one is quite big. But, you can't live without it. Next up, front left, first thing in there is my torch, or flashlight, if you're American. I didn't see the need to get a really expensive torch because I just think it's about necessary. If you've got a light that lights up nice and bright so you can see in the dark, then 
you're winning. So I didn't get an expensive one. What I got was a £20 torch from Amazon and it's the Olight 3T EOS. I haven't got much experience with torches, but for me, this literally does the job perfectly. Sits in my pocket nice and discreetly. Don't know it's there. Easy to get in and out with the pocket clip. Two different brightness modes. So you got like a less bright mode, which is like half power and then full brightness, which is 180 lumens. Sorry if I blinded you there. So literally perfect for looking under my car seat if I drop something down behind or underneath it, you know, that little crevice down the side of you, which is like the pit of doom. You can never get anything back from it. And then if I'm walking through my house at night, can't be bothered to turn the lights back on. Just find my way so I don't fall up the stairs. Just a handy little thing to keep in your pocket. And also one thing it does have is a like a two way pocket clip. I don't know if you can see that, but that just means that basically I can stick it to my head and look around in the dark hands free. Love it. Next up in that pocket is my wallet. <laughs> Got a bit of an obsession for wallets and I generally get a new one every like four to six months. But the one that I've got in my pocket right now is one that I've been using for probably about six months now and it is, if I can get it, the Grove Supply Co. Can't remember the name, but it's sick. Nice and simple, I've got one, two, six cards in here and it's still nice and thin and then for no reason other than the fact that I put it in there when I got the wallet and now it's patinaed and shaped to it, I have the Pete's Pirate Life V4 coin just slotted in the back. Was gonna take it out but it's like, you can see it's shaped to it now so it's like I won't get anything in there in it. Yeah, adds a bit of weight to it so I know it's in my pocket but it keeps my cards in really good. Really, really high quality, really nice soft leather, patinas really nicely, and Josh, that owns Grove, is a really sound guy, so go and support him, because his wallets are sick. Back left pocket. This is probably the least interesting thing. My phone, iPhone 13 Pro. I don't think I need to say any more. It does the job, it's a good phone, better than the 12, and it's, yeah, sick. Back right pocket, the least favorite thing. <laughs> So I'm going to sound like every other person that does an EDC video now and I'm just going to say I fucking hate keys, they're annoying, they jingle, they sharp and they poke into your ass when you sit down and there's just no comfortable way of carrying them. So I keep it as minimal as possible. I have them on this Vesperi leather, is that how you say it? Vesperi, yeah something like that, raspberry leather, <laughs> key ring, chain, lanyard thing and then literally three keys on here, two house keys office key and then an air tag because I've got ADHD and I lose everything so I've got air tags literally everywhere I possibly can on my keys in my camera bag in my pelly cases in my day bag might as well put one up my ass so I can find myself uh, <laughs> air tags are literally like the best thing in the world but yeah that's my keys this is like my favorite sort of way of carrying them I just clip it to my belt put them in my back pocket and try to forget they're there but I can't this looks like I'm wiping my ass doesn't it trying to get them. See, jingle is so fucking annoying. That's pretty much everything. The rest of it is now just like not necessary stuff. It's just like jewelry. If you know me, I love big shiny silver objects or gold objects. And my go-to company obviously is Clocks and Colors. I do a lot of work with them. If you want 10% off, use code TED underscore Howells at the checkout. Link below with everything else as well. Like everything that I've said in this video is linked below. But back onto Clocks and Colours, super high quality stuff. If you don't own anything from them, then you definitely should. It's high priced, but there's a reason for it. High quality silver, they're heavy as shit, super detailed and so high quality. Like everything I wear pretty much is from Clocks and Colours, apart from this one gold ring, which was my granddad's. But everything else you see, necklaces, bracelets, rings, is all Clocks and Colours and I can't get enough of it. So go and check them out and get some shit and make yourself look cool. Get some knuckle dusters. That's pretty much it. I, I'm gonna leave you there. Like I'll probably do another one of these videos in about two months time because I'll probably change everything again. But for now, 
that is everything that I carry daily to make my life easier, I guess. I hope you enjoyed it. Check everything out that I've linked below. And I'll see you later. Goodbye. My coffee's cold now, I bet. Oh, it is.